Today we're tackling layer heights and nozzle diameters, two of the most misunderstood factors in creating a high quality 3D printed model. Let's get started. Hello, my name is Angus and welcome to 3D Printing 101 here on Maker's Muse. So when you're shopping for your first 3D printer, often layer heights is a number that gets thrown around. You'll hear companies say such things as prints down to 50 microns or prints twice the level of detail as this other printer on the market. But what does that actually mean? Well, in the case of FDM technology that is fused deposition modeling, the layer height refers to each step your 3D printer moves up in the Z direction as it draws each layer of your 3D print. Essentially what happens is it will draw line by line each layer and it will move up by a certain amount. A minute amount again and again to create your 3D print and the amount it moves up by is your layer height. Well that's great Angus, that means to get super high detailed prints I can just print at like 10 microns right? That'll be fantastic, I'll get lots of resolution. Well not exactly, there are two other main factors you'd need to take into account. Print time and your nozzle diameter. Let's look at print time first. Here I've got a simple cube within Simplify 3D and we're going to slice it at 200 microns, that is 0.2 millimeter layer height. I have infill set at 20% and I have no raft or brin turned on to keep things simple. You can see with the time estimate that the print will take around 30 minutes. Not too bad. Now let's go back and halve our layer height, that is to 100 microns or 0.1 millimeters. This means there will be twice as many layers that the printer needs to lay down for the same size print, resulting in twice as much resolution in the Z direction. You can see that while the material use is almost identical to the other print, the time to complete the print has almost doubled. And here's the two cubes side by side. For a print like this, it's very difficult to actually justify a longer print time, as you can't really see any significant difference. And with this model, for example, the white part is actually printed at 350 microns, which is very coarse for an FDM 3D printer, but due to the geometric design, it actually looks quite good, and it prints roughly three and a half times faster than if I printed the same model at 100 micron layer heights. Sometimes printing at 100 micron layer heights or even finer can be useful. For example, when printing models with gentle contours towards the top of the print and you want to avoid visible stepping, you might want to use a layer height of 100 microns or even finer. Similarly, text on the size of 3D prints can look a lot better if you use a finer layer height. For example, here, the layer height is 300 microns on the coarse print and 100 microns on the fine print. And you can see the text on the side looks much better with the much lower layer heights. So how does nozzle diameter come into play? Well, let's look at what nozzle diameter actually is. It is the size of the bore within your nozzle itself. Now, most 3D printers on the market have a nozzle diameter of 0.4 millimeters. This means that realistically, the thinnest line your 3D printer can lay down at any one time is around 0.4 millimeters wide. You can probably start to see how manufacturer claims of up to 20 micron accuracy don't quite add up. Text is a fantastic way of demonstrating the effect of nozzle diameters on final print quality. For example, with this demonstration, I have the print set up with a 0.8 millimeter diameter nozzle. A 0.8 millimeter diameter nozzle is fantastic at printing very fast compared to a 0.4 millimeter diameter nozzle, but you can see with the text here, it's essentially unreadable when you go to slice the final print. If we step back down to 0.4 millimeters, you can see the text does become readable, but it's still not very sharp. Now, depending on your make and brand of 3D printer, you can buy nozzles all the way down to 0.2 millimeters in diameter. And if we were to print this model using a 0.2 millimeter diameter nozzle, the text would be extremely crisp. But do keep in mind, very fine diameter nozzles are very difficult to print with. You have increased pressures within the hot end, and also you have to make sure your bed leveling is absolutely spot on. Also, do keep in mind that the finer nozzle diameter you use, the longer your print will take, even if you're not changing your layer heights. And this is because the nozzle needs to move a lot more to fill in the same area that a larger diameter nozzle would. So a 0.2 millimeter diameter nozzle will need to move an awful lot more than a 0.8 would to fill in the same area. You may also be concerned about strength differences when slicing at different layer heights. The layer heights in a 3D print are much like a wood grain and will always be the weakest part of a 3D print. But at least in my experience, different layer heights seem to have very little effect on the overall part strength. You need to just make sure that your layer adhesion is good regardless of what layer height you print at. You do, however, have to keep in mind that you cannot have layer heights that are coarser 
than your nozzle diameter. For example, with a 0.2 millimeter nozzle, you can't really have a print that it has 0.4 millimeter layers. It's not gonna end very well. So thanks for watching. Now you can begin your next 3D printing project with a firm grasp of how nozzle diameters and layer heights will affect the final 3D print. And you won't be fooled next time a 3D printing company tries to trick you with ludicrously low 3D print layer height claims. Like this video if you enjoyed it and also consider subscribing so you don't miss any future 3D printing 101 here on Maker's Muse. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.